In just days, thousands of students in the GTA will be heading back to school, including some of the 1,500 residents who were left displaced by the St. Jamestown fire a little over one week ago. Today, a clothing drive was organized to help some of these residents get back on their feet. But for many, the big question is if they'll have a roof over their heads. Our question is one, accommodation, two, accommodation, three, accommodation. We, we need nothing else than accommodation. We need accommodation first. With two kids and one more on the way anytime now, Mahoma Abadi and his family are starting the school year off living in a hotel on the other side of the city. He says what was once a short walk to Rose Avenue Public School will now be a one-hour commute for his sons. The school was the site of a donation drive for the 1,500 displaced residents of 650 Parliament. There were back-to-school items like clothing and gift cards made possible by the generous donations of businesses and residents. But frustration did not subside for the Abadi family, who don't know where home will be after September 22nd. We are going to have, a, like our kid, in a motel. It's, it's, it's very pathetic like to even think about this kind of thing. The city says 525 people remain in hotels. That includes Victor Aguar and his wife and son, who will have to check out on Tuesday. It's been hard for us because it's, it's hard to sleep when you don't know what's going to happen next, next week or what you're saying. Frustration also felt by dozens of other residents displaced by the six alarm fire on August 21st. We are going to be by ourselves. This is scary, but very, very I, I, scary. Sir, I completely yeah. understand that. I can't yeah. imagine being quick. I'm talking to you now. I Look know. at my hand. It will take at least four months before the repairs are made at the building, with hundreds still looking for accommodations. During a weekend when the film festival is about to get underway and when thousands of post-secondary students are returning to off-campus housing. This is not a tax-paying uh, initiative right here. We're helping out with full intentions that the owner is going to be reimbursing the city for all their assistance. Well, what are you doing to hold the landlord accountable? We are going to send them a bill. If they don't pay the bill, we're going to add it to their property taxes or commence legal action. And I, I don't mean to make that sound confrontational, but I made it very clear. This was their responsibility. We called an email to contact provided on the property management's website but did not hear back in time for broadcast. Mayor John Tory says they've been meeting with them and says they are assisting in finding apartments. So far, the city says it's found 100 units and will be allocating these homes on a priority basis, but the city wants to hear from anyone with space to spare. We're not asking for luxury apartments. We're not asking for five-bedroom houses. We are asking at least give us like a single bedroom home where we can stay. The councillor tells me there's been $75,000 raised through the Red Cross. but They're still looking for help from the public, especially for gift cards. For City News, I'm Faiz Amin.